gonna get a lot of hate for saying this, but Armed and Dangerous is a great and hilarious comedy, but a bad and boring game. But believe me, I have my reasons why I don't like this genuinely funny game. Let's get the good out of the way. The story follows a band of ne'er-do-wells, consisting of Q, a polite tea-obsessed robot, Jonesy, a grumpy, irritable mole that loves explosives, Rexus, a small, blind, disgustingly filthy old man, and Roman, the overall leader of the group, who you'll be playing as. The team's known as the Lionhearts, who roam across the land of Midden, helping the weak against the totalitarian rule of King Forge. Your main mission is to get the Book of Rule that has the power to turn the tide for the resistance and outs the king from power. It sounds like the generic save the world story you've heard a dozen times before, but its zany combination of wacky, tongue-in-cheek British humour and its constant parodies of films like Lord of the Rings, Star Wars and classic tales such as King Arthur makes it anything but generic. The humour constantly breaks the fourth wall, often makes no sense, shifts between dark comedy to satirical in a heartbeat, it's a mess, but it's fantastic. Uh, uh, quick, what should I say to them? I'm running out of power. Vic, what, what should he say to us? He's, He's running, running out, out of power. power. Tell them, tell them they're both teapots. No Scottish miners. Look, just tell them we're not the ones they're looking for. Wait, wait, I can handle this. Um, uh, you're both French. We surrender. Ah! Has the peasant spoken yet? <sighs> Not yet, sire. What torture have you performed on him? Well, all right. We started off by removing that guy's tongue, right? But he still hasn't said a word. And what's going on with the other one? Okay, so that guy, we took off his head. And we replaced it with this large cauliflower that Bruno had. But he hasn't spoken either. A couple more hours should probably do it. He's new. And how was Rex on the battlefield? The presentation is a bit of a mixed bag. The voice acting is great with lots of notable British voice actors, but the graphical quality of the cutscenes is awful. So the story has loads of personality, that's a fact. Now the gameplay of Armed and Dangerous, well, that's kind of the opposite. Your first initial feelings of the game will likely be its similarities to titles like Serious Sam and Quake with the near relentless amount of enemies you face at any one time. It's not long before you're facing anywhere between one to a dozen bad guys at once, and to defend yourself you have a decent array of weapons. A rapid firing machine gun, a homing rocket launcher, a handheld mortar, and the most famous weapon, the land shark gun. A gun that shoots out a shark that swims through the freaking ground to devour foes, and it looks absolutely incredible. You have of course one use weapons like a sticky bomb, a portable black hole, and a drill that turns the world upside down. Oh yes. It reminds me a lot of Ratchet and Clank in terms of creativity of the weapons you use. Alright, sounds pretty good, so what's wrong? Well, the repetitive and cheap levels. Now, it's important in an action game that the action is good. And though, yes, you fight a lot of enemies nearly all the time, unlike a game that's well designed around fighting constantly, nothing feels well laid out here. Masses of enemies smash into you left, right, and center, with snipers and rockets piling on top of you. Enemies are too frequent and you're too weak to catch a breath. And the level design just loves screwing you over by placing cannons that rain fire and destruction on you and rocket launchers that spew forth payloads of explosives in an instant. And you'd think this might be something uncommon in the game, but no, it happens a lot! And the only weapon that's worth a damn is your homing rocket launcher. The sniper rifle? Worthless. Grenades? Pitful. So if you don't have the launcher or run out of ammo, you're basically screwed and will have to go back to the nearest safe spot and try again. On that, you know what makes a difficult, hectic games fun? Frequent continues. Does Armed and Dangerous have them? Well, not really. You don't get checkpoints or quick saves. Often you go to a pub. Like I said, very British. At the pub you can restore some health as well as some ammunition and save the game. And that's it. You die, you go back to the last save point, be it at the pub or the beginning of the level. This means you have to keep on repeating the same part of the level again and again. Whether it's hard or not doesn't matter. It's just monotonous as hell. Now let's talk about the levels. They repeat the same objectives over and over again. It's either rescue the peasants, which is kind of funny, or destroy some buildings and specific enemies. That's really it. Oh yeah, the levels change, but your goals don't. Often you just run around grabbing peasants and blowing up buildings again and again. But even simple stuff like that isn't well done. To replenish supplies in the game, besides going to the pub, is having to kill enemies who will hopefully drop the items you want. So if you have to destroy a building but don't have the explosive ammunition, you're going to have to grind on enemies until you get what you need. 
Or maybe you need health, which you can only get from killing enemies. So you have to take damage to try and get the health. The gameplay just isn't fun. Rarely did I go, wow, this is good or great. It's zany and wacky, but slowly but surely I got more tired of doing the same crap over and over again. So yeah, that's Armed and Dangerous, his gameplay. Repeat the same tasks with little else besides the heavily repetitive talent sequences that just pop up. It's such a contrast from the top-notch humour to the mindless repetitive shooting. It excels at the funnies and being a comedy, but it's a bad game. I also should point out the lack of additional features like co-op mode, which would have done wonders on replayability, especially since the game is 5-6 to six hours long. I like unique and creative games like Armed and Dangerous, but titles such as MDK, Blood Rain, and Brute Force have done it far better. I highly recommend you watch the hilarious cutscenes online and forget about playing the actual game.